I need to take any possible chance to get any kind of look at these guys. This one's like mean for a second. I want you to go online and I want you to post this on YouTube. I want you to post this on any other site that plays videos. Yeah. I don't watch any because I'm strictly YouTube. Thank you. I, Go online and also Google Big Charlie's Rubber Band. We are the coming of music. Big Charlie's Rubber Band is my band, it's my music. I'm Nicholas cool. Mather. Right. Where do you come from? Um, I'm, we're all from Maine. We all met at UMaine. Um, are you based here in Hamden now? Or I something? do guitar. Mason Schubeck uh, does p piano and uh, p p piano. And Matthew Johnson does the drums. We're all from UMaine. Yeah, we, Mason and I live here. Mix Avenue. I see. And then Matt lives in Brooklyn, New York. Um, so we try to play from Hamden down around that. Coolness. Area. Yeah, well, there was a little festival on, over the at the golf course back on Sunday. Check it out. And Seriously. Okay, I'm sorry, I <laughs> interrupted you. I'm sorry. No, I'm I had sorry. To do something I, like over. I had to run my mouth. No. Nope. Aside from the plug, oh, what am I going to do with you guys? It's a really enough. For me. <laughs> We've been looking for a plug. We've been looking for a plug. The music speaks for itself. Know, it's, it's called Let It Shine. It's, just... it's on iTunes. It's on Amazon. Blow it up. Big Charlie's Rubber Band. Done. You did great at doing the plug, but how is it going to look if I just put a guy plugging something on there? It's 94 degrees and they're filming out in the hot sun just things like me. Just happen. I just, uh, things got to happen. Yeah. Things just happen, you know? So, and and, and with the beat. Speak. Yeah. So, well, cool. It was good meeting you guys. Yeah. Good nice chatting with you. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. happened to be here on Orange Street near East Rock. It's up there. I thought we'd take a look up there. There we go. I thought we might run into some Japanese tourists down here. And they're here at Beinecke Plaza. If you're looking down at the artwork in the, the pit there, we'll go take a look at that. Sculptures, the commons, that's a big dining hall for the freshmen, huge dining hall, and the back entrance of Woolsey Hall. Here. <laughs> you see the, the dome, we can see the dome of Woolsey Hall, I just move a little. There it is. Woolsey Hall being a uh, uh, concert hall. Of 
<clears throat> a war memorial there and a uh, uh, sculpture there that's been there since the 70s. So, uh, I've never seen that out before. Actually have chairs and tables over there. And those people are going, now the tourists are going into the, uh, the library, which is the, uh, the rare books library. And lots and lots of books are kept in there um, under like special airtight conditions. <laughs> And it actually might be nice to go in there. The coolest thing I think about being inside there is that you see the light through the uh, those marble walls. Let's continue this festival. Hallelujah. There's something going on in here. This day we have dedicated to worship God. <laughs> I found something going on in New Haven. Thank goodness. Look at oh. And we have another minute. Excuse me without my permission. Take three. I found something going on in New Haven. I don't, don't know what it is, but it seems fun. as that looks, I think I'm going to move on and see what else is going on down here. Alright, I'll, I'll talk to you in a while. Alright, bye honey. This is why you really shouldn't leave your bike locked to a pole for more than maybe an hour. You know they mean it when they write it in regular ballpoint pen. And there's a that one's more permanent up there, Joey D and Angela. It's actually rare that I come out here on the uh, well, I guess we're on the nature trail officially. It's off the orange trail to me. I think I've only been here one or two times before in the past, not for many years. It's not a... <laughs> not a good vista from here in the summer, at least. But you can kind of get away from people off the main trail for a little while. Be more... So I'm up here on the top of East Rock again. I didn't want to sit next to this guy right there. <laughs> there, he, he did it. He spits a lot. All he does is spit. <laughs> he, sp he spit loud and he's, there's a lot of spit. Okay, back here at Sleeping Giant. I'm gonna try going up the white trail this time for a while <clears throat> until we meet up with the tower trail. See what kind of bull crap happens up here. I just 
slipped and almost sprained my ankle. <laughs> On the road that wasn't properly maintained. We may have more about that later. There's people. I'll probably turn off the camera. There's nothing but woods and tough trail here anyway for a while. So talk to you next time there's something to talk about. All right. You can see I'm only a very short distance, like a hundred feet in here. <laughs> and already something ridiculous, as stupid has happened. I let these guys guide me up the wrong way or something. They were coming down off trail. I want to see how this freaking happened. I just start up the white trail here. Yeah, after that bridge, I start up it. And then there's the, I finally see a blaze to confirm I'm on the white trail, but I didn't really register that it's a turn right blaze and I had seen and I saw guys up there so I saw white and guys coming down so I start going up this stream bed. And I of course didn't see a blaze up there and went all the way up there and then realized when I saw people walking along over there <laughs> that I had let, gotten led astray. So. I knew something, but I just have a bad feeling. I don't know why. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure everything will be better now. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. I remember now why I don't come on the white trail very often. Or one of the reasons certainly is this span here where I have to go up this rocky part. Huh. Well, let's see what's going on in the vicinity of my car and parking space today. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>